Okay, in this video, I want to show you how to create a pause system for your game. Okay, look for your al your uh, not al your player ship. What we'll do is we're going to add a new um, rule to the player ship. So I'm going to bring the backstage up a little bit so you can see uh, more of the code. I'm going to minimize all this stuff here. Okay, so what we want to do is somewhere in here, um, yours is not going to be exactly the same here, so just focus on adding, you know, this pause feature here. So if you um, add a new rule, and in that rule, what we want to do is we want to have that same keyboard action. So when we press the key, the key um, when we press the key condition here, um, and it's going to be, let's say, P for pause. So when we press the, pa the P, we want it to pause the game. Okay? Now, um, to pause the game, we have to then go to, there's an action on here um, that says pause game. So what you want to do here is in the do section, you're going to go to pause game. Okay? Now, Notice that when you bring in the pause game um, action, pause the game and show a specific scene. Well, what we want it to do is we want it to go to the new scene that we create. So if we click on that, we want it to go to the pause scene. Okay? So, basic idea is we have the player ship on the screen. So we're programming on a player ship. You want to program this pause system on anything that you know is going to be on the screen. So on level one, we know this ship is on the screen. So on level two, you're gonna have to do this again on the ship for level two, if it's a different ship that you have on. But if you drag in the same ship again for level two, then it'll already be programmed. The pause feature will already be there. But if you use a fancier ship, you change it to a different ship, then you'll need to put that uh, this pause scene in there as well for that. So the idea is press P, and go to the pause scene. Okay, we're not done yet. When we get to the pause scene, uh, we needed to do something. So let's go back now um, to the uh, pause scene. Let's go click on here. Uh, let's click on our pause scene. And we need to actually create something. Notice our pause scene has nothing on it. So when we get to the pause scene, we want it to have something like um, game is pause, press P or something to unpause the game or something like that, right? So let's create an actor, uh, a new actor. And that actor is going to be called, it's going to be a text. So we're going to call it pause text, okay? Now, let's double click on that pause text. And when we do, you can pr actually program. So you see pause text prototype. In that pause text prototype, what we're going to do um, is bring in a text display text behavior. In that um, pause text prototype, what you want to do is go to persistent and display text. Now, you can display something that says something like game paused press p to resume game something like that okay now um, you might you can play around with the size you know I'm gonna make this maybe 18 um, and I'm gonna make the um, background color of the box maybe red okay and the text color maybe I'll make it uh, I don't know black or something I'm horrible with color okay so um, now let's go ahead and drag the instance of that text onto 
the page and when you see that plus sign that's the dead center spot on the screen so you can move this around there okay okay next what you want to do is um, select the pause text um, actor and now you should have the display text you know the game pause uh, press P to resume game in here what I will what you need to do next is to add a rule okay I already have this here for you so what you want to do is add this rule and what you want to do is use the receives key press and enter P is down all right uh, and what you want to put in the do section is to unpause the game all right so to find um, to add a rule again you hit your plus sign and then the rule up here and you'll get this box to add the receives key press P what you do is you go to conditions and then key drag that in okay that'll give you that and then in the do section what you want to do is you want to unpause the game you will find that in the actions um, the last one there is unpause game okay so that's how you get um, to that rule so Basically, once you have this in place um, and you have uh, your player ship set up uh, in this way with this rule, also with the receives key press P is down, um, you want it to pause the game and go to the pause game scene, um, you can then test that out. So um, what should happen as you are shooting, you press the P button, you notice that um, the game pause press P to resume game comes up if you press P again it will resume the action okay so um, this is in essence how you um, work with pausing a game alright so we'll see you in the next video